good day everyone you're watching rate tube fixes on today's video i'm going to walk you through step by step instruction on how to download fortnite on your windows 7 8 8.1 or windows 10 machine now this is a free to play game and for the beginners now this is a free to download now in case if you like this video please make sure you hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel now in order to download fortnite on your windows machine uh, what you will have to do is you will have to open any browser in my case i have opened uh, fire uh, chrome now on my chrome machine uh, you will have to go to google.com and you will have to go ahead and search for fortnite download now the first need uh, you will have to do is um, the first link what you will see is epic games fortnite um, from epic game store you will have to click on that link and here you will have to uh, select uh, the type of download in my case um, i'm going to cancel the the automatic download you can go ahead and select uh, the type of operating system you have in case if you are using windows machine you can select windows mac you can select mac if you're using ios or android you can select either uh, one of these so in my case um, i have windows 10 machine i'm going to select windows here once i select uh, windows here it will start downloading a uh, win uh, Fortnite on my uh, Windows Sun machine. Now this is a pretty much a pretty small file. It's about uh, 30 megabytes. Once the download is complete, you will be able to see the the download on the uh, at the bottom of the screen. Uh, depending on the settings what you have on your um, Firefox. Once the download is complete, you will have to double click on the setup. Now, once you uh, you might get a prompt saying that the app you're trying to install isn't verified. Uh, I'm, I guarantee you this is a verified um, download. You can go ahead and click on uh, install anyway. Once you click on install anyway, it will start the installation. Now here you have an option of changing the location. In case if you have multiple drives, you can go ahead and change the drives here. In my case, I have only uh, one drive, which is C drive. I'm not going to change. In case if you want to change it, you can click on change and select the drive or location where you want to install the Fortnite um, game. So once you um, see, uh, once you are on the screen, you can go ahead and click on install now. You might get a user access control prompt uh, you might get a user access control prompt. Uh, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Once you click on uh, yes or continue, uh, it will start the installation. And um, on you will see a step-by-step -step instruction or uh, the uh, installation setup on your screen uh, as you are installing uh, the, Epic, the Fortnite. Now this is from the Epic Games. That's the, the maker of uh, this particular game. So you will have to wait for some time, depending on the speed of your computer. Uh, the download might take about a uh, download and installation might take about uh, 10 to 15 minutes. So right now it is uh, creating uh, the shortcut and also installing the direct X. Direct X is nothing but it's a component which communicates uh, between your computer and your graphic card. So it is installing uh, direct X on my computer. Uh, in which means that I already have a DirectX. Uh, it is installing the latest version of DirectX, uh, which is compatible to run um, Fortnite on my uh, computer. So let's wait for a while. And in case if you have any issues, uh, please leave me a comment in the comment section. Uh, include the error message, what you're getting while installing uh, the game. And um, in case if this is useful, make sh please make sure you share this uh, video with um, uh, among your friends. And I will also mention the download link um, in the video description. So the game has been successfully installed on my computer. It is verifying the update. Like I said, uh, depending on the speed of the internet and also the speed of your computer, it might take about 15 to 20 minutes. Let's wait for a while. It's downloading the update right now. Uh, 
now you're on the you might get a prompt saying that installing prerequisites um, now on the screen you might get a prompt you, you user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue so that you um, so that it can uh, proceed and install the prerequisites which are required to run the game on your windows machine